so the next thing i'm gonna be modeling is going to be the center table so let's get down to it so i'll go to um poly modeling and um i can actually just select the cube and um, scale it up so like so and uh, scale it like this and um, scale it down for something like this yeah so um press shift and right click and say insert edge loop to go to the settings and say two so hard one here and scale it like so press it again add here and um i'll shift it to this side also so pretty much that is all i need so i can go to face mode delete this place delete this place now i can say um object mode i can go to um bridge edit mesh and go to bridge so that should bridge the whole thing so that is it so i would create a plane if i create a plane um i can say edge loop to create an edge loop to like so so scale it up like that that so i can say face mode select the face here shift select the faces inside and um, extrude then i can extrude out like so so that is all i need so i can create a plane i'll come to polyplane and change it to one each so go to um, wireframe go to vertex mode select the vertex here move it to this side here i move this one to this side here. i want it to stand on um to like sit on um the extra that i made the other time pull this one to this side also so so and um wireframe and i can print this up to make it sit on here but before i move on i can say extrude and extrude this up like so let's see it's too much like that and um, can select it duplicate and move it down also somewhere there <coughs> excuse me so um i think that is all i need so here now what i can do here is um i'll go to insert edge loop two then sorry i have to go to um the settings and take it to relative distance from edge now this should be single ones and i should be able to move it to any point that i want so like so um bring this one also down so like so and from here to from the center here something like that and um let's see what we have here so if i press 3 okay as you can see i still have some issues so i have to bring one here one here and the same thing to this side one here one here one to this side one to this side and uh, the last one here i think there's still one to go here so if i press 3 again now i think i have what i want now so i could raise this guy up a bit more like so <laughs> So, um, the next thing to do now is, um, add some kind of a tire to the side. Somewhere here, I can scale this up like so, and still bring it down. 
something like that so um i would had um this um i'm just gonna go to this and say delete the face and um I can go to edit mesh and say bridge. You see, it's actually bridged. This is cool. I think I love the bridge thing. So, um, it's bridged. Creates a new cylinder and scale it to fit in this guy here and view it from this side. Then scale. Scale to like so. Then you can bring it down here. The next thing now is um, create another um, sphere. Take it, zoom in, and um, you can just scale. Scale it like so. So I can say faces and um, select the faces here and delete go back to object smooth and um, you can see this is exactly what I want so I can say extrude and extrude like so so this guy here I could actually just say image um, say combine combine then I can rotate something like that so <coughs> I can say 90 here so um, can go to separate again so that you can actually achieve whatever I want to achieve here so the next thing now since I've added it like this is scale this thing in scale it in the five center pivots and scale so something like that yeah so so now i can say select the old thing here and say combine so after combine i can now say um create cylinder scale and view from this side here bring it down scale it down to like so and actually i don't know how this is created or how this is done um in the real life object i'm trying to you know achieve well then I just do it the way i feel fits I can just say um go to vertex mode select the vertex is here and scale it like so so that should be okay then we can combine the old thing here combine and so we should scale this down then bring it to this side here let's see okay here I feel I should scale it more, duplicate and move it to this other side. Move it to the front here and this move it out a bit more and select the two together, Ctrl D to duplicate then move it to this side. So I have the table now. So I can say um, add material, assign the material, say this and I can go to edit and delete all by type history. Then I can just give this, this color and this color, something like this. And this guy here had new material 
Um, I could just give it um, a glass, a glass, something like that. Pretty much that is all. That is all. So you can say select the old thing here, select the old thing, and um, let's raise it up to this spot here so that is that is all for the table um we'll catch up with you guys later